everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have another advent calendar to open. Now I'm calling it advent calendar because they look exactly like advent calendars, but this is actually called the travel countdown calendar. So was the ASOS one. A few of you got a little bit confused, but I've just called it advent calendar because I know the people who like advent calendar videos would want to watch it. So that's why I've titled this video advent calendar. So today I shall be unboxing the one by Cowshed. Now when I actually popped travel countdown calendar into Google, this one came up so it seems to be the leading one now this one was a little bit more expensive well actually a lot more expensive than asos because it cost me 65 pounds for 11 days which is a lot of money however we need to open it to see if it's worth the money before i go into this video please smash the like button it really does help me and also subscribe if you are new so in day number one we have a lavender gentle cleanser and it's a 30 ml bottle let's have a smell i absolutely love lavender oh it's quite a soft lavender so if you didn't like lavender as a scent it's not too overpowering. So apparently this uh, cleanser is uh, paraben free. It also has no sulfate and it is suitable for vegetarians. So in day number two, we have a calamar refreshing toner and this is also in a 30 ml bottle. Now again, it's also suitable for vegetarians and it's paraben and sulfate free. Let me have a little smell. What scent is it? Again, it's very light and it does smell like calomel. Okay, cleanser and toner, not too bad. Day number three. So in this store, we have a apricot nourishing cuticle oil. I don't think this is a must for traveling. I mean, I've never taken cuticle oil with me on holiday. Have you guys? Drop me a comment down below, I may be wrong. I guess this would be good for keeping your cuticles nourished whilst on holiday um i'm a bit confused by this i don't know why um it's just it's something that i wouldn't necessarily use let's have a little smell oh it does smell really good actually day number four so in this day we have a gentle shampoo which i actually think is a really good idea like the asos one i did like the small shampoo and conditioners because this is something i would definitely take on holiday with me especially smaller size shampoos so the scent of this one is lemon and ylang lang so i'm going to give it a little smell to see if it actually smells nice that actually smells really good it's very light and uplifting it's quite a fitting scent for a holiday i reckon day number five. Oh, i think this is shower gel i don't know so in this store we have a bath and body oil what if you don't have a bath on holiday I guess you could use it in the shower. Um, again, I'm a bit confused by the oil. I I personally never put oil on myself when I'm on holiday. It's something that I like to like come home to and take a bath, or maybe pre like holiday, maybe like a pre holiday thing to like hydrate the skin. Not entirely keen on that. Um, however, let's give it a smell to see what it smells like. Oh, really nice smell actually. Um, it smells like a bit like a spa like very lemongrassy. Is it got lemongrass in there? Yes, it's got lemongrass, ginger and rosemary and it's in a 30 ml bottle. It looks quite a lot for 30 ml actually. Drop me a comment down below. I mean, I'm just a bit confused. Day number six, quite a large bottle this one. Yes, we definitely need a bath and shower gel. So finally we get to the shower gel and it's in a 100 ml bottle, which is fantastic. I'm glad it's not in a 30 ml bottle. So this is in the scent Lang Lang Rose, Palmarosa and Lavender. Let's give it a smell. I absolutely love cow shed shower gels. This one smells really good. Next door, I think it's body lotion. Yes, so in this store we have body lotion and again it's in the scent Lang Lang Rose, Palmarosa and Lavender. And it's also in a 100 ml bottle. And it also smells fantastic. It smells a little bit like Christmas for some reason. Like I don't know if I should say that in a summer video, but it does smell a little bit Christmassy. I like on the back that it says, it's a sweet and exotic floral blend and revives the mind and restores a balance. That is something that you need on holiday. Perfect product. Day number eight. 
Oh, we've got hand gel. So in day number eight, we have a natural antibacterial and soothing hand gel, which is perfect. I mean, I cannot go without my soap and glory hand gel on a plane or public transport, just because sometimes my hands get really clammy and I don't know if I, if I sneeze into my hand, I need to clean it. That is absolutely gross. Why did I say that? I just think hand gel is a hygienic product to take whilst traveling. Now this is in the scent sweet orange and peppermint. So let's give it a smell. Oh, that's a bit of a weird smell. Okay, I'm not overly keen on the smell. It smells a little bit like toothpaste, but it smells clean. Door number nine. I hope this is not another oil product. Oh, it's a deodorant spray. Oh my gosh. And it's a peppermint, spearmint, and lemongrass one. I have never tried anything like this before. Okay, this is, this is really great for traveling. Oh. Whoa, okay. That actually smells fantastic. It's very cooling on the skin, which is great if you're in a hot country. That is a very nice smell. I like that one. Day number 10. You can actually get the products really easy out of this calendar. Yay, so finally we have a Saucy Cow softening conditioner. Now this is in the scent Lavender and Lemon, and it's in a 30 ml bottle. Was the other one in the 30 ml? Yeah. Okay, so they're both in 30 ml. They're not the same scent. Okay, so the shampoo is Lang Lang and Lemon, but this one is Lavender and Lemon. Let's give it a smell. It smells good. Will it complement the shampoo though? That's the question. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it will. So again, this is paraben and sulfate free and also suitable for vegetarians. A great little couple there. Day number, I think we're on the final day. We are on the final day. Okay, day number 11. Ooh, it's hand cream. Okay, my reaction was a little bit, I don't know, like flat there because when I was opening my advent calendar series, there was so much hand cream flying around. I, I just, I don't know, maybe I just got a bit immune to hand cream, but I mean, I'm gonna judge this on the product itself. So this is a soothing hand cream and it's in the scent sweet orange and peppermint. Okay, well, I didn't like the scent of the sweet peppermint and orange with the hand gel. Um, let's give it a smell. Mm. Oh gosh, it really doesn't do it for me. No, it's quite spicy and I don't know why it's spicy. Um, okay, well, personally, I don't like the scent of this one. It almost smells a bit peppercorny. I don't like peppercorn, it makes me gag. Okay, um, what did I think of the content? So, I didn't get the oil just because uh, I never use oil whilst on holiday, but if you do, then you do you. So the shampoo and conditioner I really liked and also the shower gel and body lotion. Okay, I'm gonna see if this is actually worth the money. Where is my phone? Let's see how much the shower gel is. So for a 300 ml of this product, it is 18 pounds and this one is 100 ml. So 18 divided by three, six pounds. So this is worth six pounds. I'm gonna actually write this all down because I actually need to see if this is worth the money. A few moments later. Okay, so I have some beef. So I've just actually tallied everything up and compared it to the full size and the price and the smaller size that we've got in the calendar and the price that they should be. So I have pretty much tallied everything up and all together these products, the smaller size, should have cost £50.66. So they have completely overcharged for this calendar. I don't know about you, but I feel like advent calendars are actually meant to save you money. I like trying things out, so I'd rather not be overcharged for wanting to try out new products from a brand. Okay, right. Yeah. Uh, let me know if you agree with me. I really think it should have been cheaper. This calendar should have been at least, I don't know, maybe 40 to 45 pounds, not 65. There we go guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry if I came across a little bit brutal, but I just wanna be honest with you guys. Like I, I'm just gonna say what I feel. I'm not gonna be fake about anything. I've not been paid for this video. I mean, even if I was paid for it, I'd give my honest review. 
Um, but yeah, I think uh, the ASOS one is definitely worth the buy. If you like these unboxing videos, please subscribe. There will be an advent calendar series this year. Uh, so definitely subscribe for that. Also give me a thumbs up if you liked it as well. But as always guys, just make sure that you link, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye.